Gills Knight out there. Gills Knight. Right. Yo. Yo. What's up, chat? Yo, yo. What up, guys? We're here. We're already streaming again. Why? Because we're grinders and we grind. Fucking dude. Because we got to keep this shit on our necks. Yeah, dude. we're Raiders fans now. This. You the Raiders won. We're Raiders fans now. I'll tell you what. Do you want to know? For everyone who's like very like oh who sports ball, I'll tell you one thing about sports fandom that I've learned over time is that the only way to get it is to commit to it, or like it doesn't make sense because like until you have like a sunk cost fallacy in a team, you'll never care about sports. True. You have to be like I've invested a lot of time into following them, and I'm gonna keep looking and watching the stats, even if you don't like the sports. You don't even have to like the game. It's the drama of being like, are they gonna do it? True. Oh, they fucking suck! True, and, then, and a lot of times they do suck. And I a lot of times they don't do it. Just a lot of like people who are really disenfranchised with their jobs getting together and outsourcing the anger onto like athletes Children. and management. It's, yeah. it's always, you know what's different with the athletes? It's the athletes during the game, and then it's the, it's the management during the off season. It's always like, you know, the fucking, yep. you know, that's not it, man. He's never going to take us there. Yep. And then in the off season, you go, Jerry it's Jones. the fucking, it's the front office, man. The front office is corrupt to the core. Yep. They're never going to care about anything because they already put butts in seats. It's literally, it's the, it's the uh, everlasting plight of the sports fan. Yeah. It's fun, though. Yeah. The, the Raiders are... They have a really dumb chant, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. It's really not inspiring. They just go, Raiders. That's just what like, they like, do. Like in, in like all the Packers people were like, 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 no, they're doing it again. They're coming. Fuck. Not again. We already the lost. Pack, the Pack is like a cool, like, the Packers have like a cool percussive chant. They're like, go, go Pack, go. go. Do, do, do. Yeah. Do, do, do. The other's just like a fucking dying foghorn, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> the thing of uh, Yeah, the, the Vuvuzela. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst thing about. Do you want to know what was so upsetting to me about uh, today? What? The one interview I was really excited to do was with a man who spoke less intelligible English than anyone I'd ever spoke. Like, it was just a full, like, Dude, he was, he guy Richie thick. London accent. Yeah. I over there in the footballers and we hate the Gooners. As soon as I heard him, I was like, you need to go talk to that guy. I told yeah. him, I was like, go talk to him. I was so stoked. Then I asked him a question and just I could not make out a word. Uh, Did we go to Buka de Beppo and just live like kings? Buka de Beppo. Buka de Pee Pee. Beep 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 beep. Boo, get a bit. Chat, we're in Las Vegas. Dude, there's so many split households. Yeah, there's a lot of. There's a lot of split households. You see so many. You have like what, Raiders. Also, do you want to know what's real sad? What? 90% of the Packers jersey I see, Rogers on the back. Dude, isn't that crazy? They do, they I noticed up. that they don't too. Let go. Dude. People, people, both like Packers fans either love or hate Aaron Rodgers. It's actually crazy. I like how they've somehow co-opted like cheese. That what was a mean? Packers fan sales pitch to me, where I was like, uh, you know, "Oh yeah, he was like, oh, you like cheese? You like cheese? Like, I mean, hey, who doesn't like cheese? Yeah, I mean, sure. How much cheese is too much cheese? Do you like yeah. cheese? I like What's fish. What's going on with like you? Fish, man. Oh wait, you're not I'm a, I'm a nice you're husband. Fucking man. Oh. Hey, fucking mess. I'm a nice husband. Yeah, that's what I see in you, though. Yeah. He's a good yeah, I can I'm tell. A, he's I can a very tell. good husband because yeah. he's wearing uh, a Packers for her, but yeah, yeah the team is actually. Oh, okay, okay. So this is just to be. Nice husband. But why couldn't you get the Packers hat? Huh? Why couldn't you get the Packers hat? That's true. He still has to represent uh, I still got to represent my Dolphins. There you go. For 20 years. You're a very lucky woman. <laughs> man, man, but hey, <laughs> shit happens. He's saving her. She's left me. Wow. <laughs> I'm a fucking mouse. So this is the this is like the lightweight IRL build, and I want to make sure. S fan should be dying in Ireland. Yeah, I want to. I want to. So even though we're on Wake Stream, I'm gonna man the camera today. 
I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna I, wear the backpack because I want to see like, can, I, can is, I survive with this thing? Can you do a stream on my channel? This is literally just a, just a bonus stream. Yeah, it's just a bonus. No, we were not going to do it, but as we wanted to try out the backpack. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go see David Copperfield and uh, Thunder, Thunder from Down, down Under. Down. We're actually standing by his alternates, yeah. just in case. We don't know. Yeah, I was gonna do this stream shirtless. I was gonna go audition. That's okay, now nope. take your time, guys. Ah, uh, Nathan's Famous. You guys remember we got some Nathan's Famous at Evo? Good old Nathan's Famous. Hey, you know what, man? It's not Costco. I feel like Costco's got the most famous hot dogs. Costco bangs. Nothing else kind of fucking stuff. Costco is so good. How much is a temporary tattoo? Hold on, maybe I get in. Let me ask you. Four weeks? You really want to do that? What's like a cool... Do they actually last four weeks or can they be way shorter? So I'd have to like really wash it in order to get but how Okay, so when I do it, uh -huh. um you're supposed to leave it on two to four hours. You want it on the full four weeks, leave it on your skin at least the four hours. If you don't want it to last the full four weeks, take it out in about an hour and a half. Okay. Can we get a face tab? I would never. Would you? It's a few weeks. I would never. Even for a few weeks, I would never. Chad, how many gifted subs for a face tab? What's like a reasonable number of gifted subs to get a face tab? One billion. Two? Just immediately to face tab? I mean, you know, it's not real. Well, what, if, what if it doesn't come off? Is there a chance it doesn't come off? Wait, there's a chance it doesn't come off? No, it's just like it's what if this is like that one other time? The one? <laughs> How long does it take to put on? 10 to 15 minutes? Can I see the book? I never got to see what Chad said about face tats. You have a Mike Tyson? You have a Mike Tyson? That's hilarious. Wait, where is it? Simpson of Twitch. Yeah, he kind of is. He always... Dude, should we do it? You know what you should do? Even better? See this? Yeah. What if instead of this, you got this? Like, it just says Mike Tyson tattoo on his face. Can is you do that? Yeah. <laughs> you just get the words Mike Tyson. What does Chad have to say about this? It just happens right, but with the heart, y'all fucked up every day. Yeah. What should we do? Chad, don't make him do this. We should put, I'll put it right on my cheek. I'll put it right here. So, we'll do it like where the Mike Tyson tattoo goes. Get the full thing. What, maybe we walk, should we walk around and pull it or should we just stay here and do this? Do you really want to do it? If it's like 40 bucks, Funny. How much is it? How, if I really scrub at it, could I get it off in a day? He has a job interview next week. I gotta scrub really hard. Oh man. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. Dog on my cheek. Oh no! Maybe we do this a 
TwitchCon. Maybe you should save this for a Twitch concert. Save it for Twitch concert. You should save this. Yeah. All right, let's walk around okay. and then we'll come back and see. Yeah, we're, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be in Vegas like three times in the next like month. So we might come. come so back. you're gonna be here until midnight. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's think Sick. for a sec. Thank you. I feel like it'd be funnier at TwitchCon because I'll actually get to see people in person. It'd be funnier at TwitchCon. Feels like a half measure. You know? Neck is pretty good though. The Mike Tyson tattoo? Ne neck is good too though. Oh. Neck's good, but like I feel like everything else is just like. Let's look at this. One's like a funny joke, guys. Everywhere it's like going outside in 1999. Everything smells like smoke inside. It's insane. Yeah, there's uh. Smoking is dumb. Because I've had. Playing RuneScape in my dad's house because he smoked indoors. <laughs> Chat. We're just walking around, we're hanging out with people. This is the bonus stream. I wanted to see how I, uh, I was like, let's just do a bonus stream on Wake's channel where I, I, I carry the backpack and uh, see how I feel with a solo IRL setup. No, Every time I do an IRL solo, I end up being hurt for two weeks afterwards because I have a freaking. Because every yes. single person that was famous in like 2005 has residency in of some Vegas resort. Oh, yeah. Dude, are still... Dude, no Packers. Okay. Raiders. Uh, you know what? No Packers. Raiders. Okay, so what's funny is Carrot Top is like still has residency at the Luxor yeah. Hotel. What the fuck did Carrot Top ever do? I don't know. I like, have I, no idea. Well, like Bruno Mars is here. So well, what like, they do is like, like they don't tour. I feel like, no, I feel like Bruno is just coming through. No, no, I don't think they tour. I think they stay here for like two years. I feel like maybe like Terry Fader stays here. Like who is this? Who is Terry Fader? At the puberty loft. At the puberty loft. Nice. He's the winner of John Maplin. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know who he is. Yeah, Raiders! Yeah, Raiders! Woo! Let's go! Yeah, Raiders! Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Woodson jersey on, but two different teams. Yeah, yeah, because Charles Woodson, he, uh... So Charles Woodson played for the Raiders for, like, a long time, and uh -huh. then the Packers. And then, uh... So they're both just bound by their love for Charles Woodson. That's literally how they met. <laughs> they don't... It's their only... It's their only like It's kind of like their big J, you know? Yeah, yeah. See how it goes. What's a watch bar? Well, Is that you, a watch? Well, no, it's you. You, you were talking about Big J. Hold on. Let's say stories happen over here, man. What the heck? That's. What is this? Oh, yeah, because this is. So, this this hotel is New York, New York. No, New York. This is where Miz wants to be. Yeah, Miz wants to live here. He wants to take a gambling deal and move to New York, New York. Yeah. Las Vegas has a lot of things that are cool about it, like very like, touristy cool things, you know, like coming here to visit and like seeing all this and all, you know what I mean? Like, this kind of feels like, um, this feels like an upscale Fuddruckers. <laughs> does that dude, make any sense? Dude, it does. <laughs> dude, I used to go to Fuddruckers all the time. I went to Fuddruckers for every one of my birthdays until I was like 11 years old. You want to know what happened to me one time? Huh. So I did like a, a whenever I like I was before I started streaming I was doing freelance. Yeah. Freelance what? <laughs> just I just did freelance. Just freelance. <laughs> and this guy paid me. At the end of one thing, he gave me a one thousand dollar Fuddruckers gift card. They've been out of business for like three years. And and I literally I spent it had a it had an expiration date on it and it was like it expired in like ten months. So, so how many days did you go to Fuddruckers? Oh, I used the last dollar on that card. Literally, like, the day it expired. <laughs> I made sure, I, dude, I took my friends out to eat. I was spending so much at Fuddruckers. You were a king at Fuddruckers. Oh, dude, I walked in there. You were calling the shots, like, hey. 
Let's move on. <laughs> another round. Another round. Like, sir, this bar. Is, sir, this is a burger place. It is five in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have alcohol here. Get him more. Get him, get him, get him. Get him another something. patty. Get him another patty. Look at him. He needs something. What's his name? I don't know. Crank. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, not Craig. Slumped over. <laughs> it's not Craig. It's not Frank. He it's slumped Crank. over at the fucking Bruce, Blues Brothers booth. Just <laughs> <laughs> they remember they have like random themed booths. Yeah, you have like the Elvis booth. And then they had like a, oh, do you know what though? They had the soda machine. Fuddruckers had like the, you know what I'm talking about? No. Dude, the soda machine. You're talking about the the mega one that mixes all the flavors. Yeah, and you press the button and See, you get. I have not been to a Fuddruckers that recently in my life. Like, that was oh, like a really? post. Because the Fuddruckers in my neighborhood closed down before that. Oh yeah. The Fuddruckers. Yeah. Oh dude. My friend said that one time on accident to his mom when we were in like first grade. All grounded, dude. Yeah. Oh, you know, dude, he got in so much trouble. She beat his ass. Over. He said, "Run." I'm not. You do that again. You're gonna get. <laughs> You're gonna eat those words. Yeah. Alright, bud. Alright, butt fucker. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? They have days here? Yeah, little did he know he'd spend his whole life trying to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it ended. And it just never makes up. Why are we, wait, why are we here? Dude, why is that like. There's nowhere to walk. Look at, that, look at the Ross. Dude. Yeah, like. What's going on in that Ross? I, I really do think they make bank on people who forgot clothes. I bet there's people that travel to Vegas. Oh yeah, get denied entry. With, like, well, yeah. well, even then, just nothing, and they just buy clothes here. Mm -hmm. They buy everything. I thought about doing that. Girls to their door, all right? <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, I think we I should. Yeah, I think we're gonna go around. This is really heavy. It's like adding up your Raiders chain. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna feel Woo. good when I take this Football. off later. Sports. Good luck in the WNBA Finals. Wait, does Vegas have a team in the Finals? Uh, maybe. Dude, I don't know who any of these fucking people are. It's insane. No memory card, can't record movie. What the hell? No one asked you to. Okay. Up there. You know what I mean? From Euro, uh, Eurovision? Wait, really? Yeah, it's gone now. But he was up there. Dude. The do, 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 do. I don't know if I'd ever have uh, food truck lobster in the middle. Yeah, Luke's lobster. Holy shit. Tyson's lobster roll, dog. Oh my gosh. $35. Dude, they're sold out. That's a dollar, that's a dollar every supply 10 Supply and demand, supply and demand. No, the crab roll sold out. Oh. People love crab here. Yeah. It's a lot like, of, there's like, a lot oh, of... I was told to get crabs. <laughs> yeah, it's like, some guy said he got crabs in yeah, Vegas, so I thought I'd try it. Best time of his life. <laughs> 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 oh shit, yeah, the Vegas Aces. It is, they have a WNBA team. Vegas Aces. Now that's a Vegas name. The Aces. The Aces. And to be fair, the Raiders are kind of there too. Vegas you know? is Vegas, Vegas Raiders, yeah. Raiders is a. I mean, Ra Vegas, Vegas robs you. Yeah, the Raiders rob. Yeah, Raiders raid. They do. They, they raid. They raid. 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 Channel. Dude, there's Denny's, and honestly, it's looking good. Dude, we could hit a Denny's again. We right? will go to Denny's tonight. Dude, I wish we had an Applebee's though. Dude, maybe we should get like a, an exotic Las Vegas meal. Rainforest Cafe. Rainforest Cafe, maybe, yeah. That was one time Raiders! Raiders! They really gotta think of another thing. No, no, this is it. That's, that's all you need to know. Raiders. Raiders. Oh, Raiders. Don't you love when everyone's like fingers on the same pulse in a city where you can just shout something out and everyone's like, yeah. It's sick, actually. Yeah! It's like, it's like, uh, I'm not even a Raiders fan, I'm Raiders. Right you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like he knows, you know. It's, it's literally, you know what it is? Uh, it's Twitch chat in real life. Yes! Somebody types the emo and everybody else types the two. like, yeah! They literally all are typing Pepega phone Raiders <laughs> in real life. I've never been to a hard rock cafe. Have you been to one before? Oh, yeah. Actually, no, I haven't. Yeah, well, I was gonna say. I don't know. <laughs> you made it seem like you were a connoisseur. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just. Yo, oh, Chad, here you are. What's funny? It. Give me this. As fan still has this fucking oh, yeah. on his on his Dude, visor. They never took it off, so it looks like I stole it. 
But Brad that's kind of like sick. Yeah, it's like I'm a real Raiders fan. Right. <laughs> I'm like I, think, a real I think the Raiders would have liked it if that were the case. Yeah. It's not real Raiders merch if you bought it. True, true, true. You have to the really take it off of someone's body. True. For instance, I took this off a 12-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, we'd beat the shit out of a 12-year-old. What are you going to do? I don't really know much about the animal kingdom in but it's mostly just bears uh, killing like baby cougars. Oh yeah. 100%. They just they oh it's fun. They all kill the babies. I can totally see that. There's no there. honor. They're always like they're like, oh that's a lot of work. I don't want that. This one's fresh made. Yeah, I can totally see that. He can't do shit. God, if they had Venmo. It was I didn't hear what they said. He said something about Darion immediately. He did say Darion, and I was like... Oh, I know Darion. Yeah, Darion? But I think he was saying his name was Darion. Oh. But, you know, was... Twitch has warped my brain now, yeah. and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Darion. Demonte, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Spam it, Demonte. Oh, they were selling Ghirardelli's. Which, like, like chocolates? Yeah. They like bought right here. The CBS. Yes. So I just bought this and just walked out and tried to resell them. Hey, you know what, dude? Hey, it's a grind. They're smart. They're like, everyone's gonna be piss drunk. It's gonna seem like a really good idea. Yeah. High on a Raiders win. How's the camera? The night chat. Should we like talk people? Asking questions. Uh, getting, you know, we're not bugging them. We're giving them an opportunity. Yeah, we're giving them a chance. Oh, we should go to the CVS and look around for like 30 minutes. I think you're gonna like, forget something and have to go back. Yeah, and, like, like six out, times. Like, oh shit, man, we forgot. That'd Dude, I got a Marshawn man. Lynch signed football. Uh, we should sell it for drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I should have turned around and be like, yo, it's for sale. <laughs> I almost did. I almost did. Scalp it in front of him. Yeah, I almost did. Trading for Dak Prescott. Woo! Raiders. 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 What she want? I don't know. Attention. I think she wanted you. I think she wanted attention. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> How'd it feel? Dude, these daiquiri things are really funny. So they're really popular in New Orleans. Yeah. It's just like a super high proof, like Everclear liquor. And they get you hammered out of your skull. If I ever drink alcohol, uh, yeah, I prefer to just like drink everything. Like shots of everything. I want to ruin, I, I, I prefer to ruin my life. Well, because the reason why is like, I don't really like, I'm not going to sit there and want to like just drink a bunch. I don't like all this pussy footing. Yeah, like it's like, are you going to drink or are you not going to drink? I'm tired of people coping that it tastes good. It doesn't. Yeah. You, 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 it's like black coffee. I love black coffee, right? But it's because it, it gets me high. Yeah. I don't... In no universe would I take that over anything else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that tastes actually good. It's like a medicine. It's the same thing with every liquor ever. Right. It never tastes good. It's just... It's like you, you associate the flavor with getting fucked up. Well, my thing and is it's like... Fun. I'm not gonna act, like, I don't act any different when I'm, like, I, you know, if you take, like, a few shots of, like, I mean, I don't even really drink, but it's like, oh, take a shot, okay, now and what? So they didn't tell you, you know, what? how you act. I mean, like, I just kind of, I always, I always act drunk, you know? I, I don't act any different because I'm always a little bit drunk. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe just always a little That's drunk. That's my seat. <laughs> I'm always halfway there. It's like a steady drip. Look how big those buildings are. It's leaning. Zezima is? Yeah, yeah. I see he's watching stream all the time. Wait, they had a stream? Wait, no, no, there's a guy named Zezima who used to watch my stream all the time. He used to watch your stream all the time? Yeah. He wasn't the Zezima. 
Oh, okay. Well, then who the fucking cares? Well, his name was Desmo underscore. That's... He was a wild... He was a wild viewer. Every time I see a name that starts with Z, I'm a He's a marine biologist. He got married August 24th of 2017. So you really believe in him, huh? No. <laughs> nope, it's just the facts. <laughs> Public record, I looked. Do we want to go into the shops? At Crystals? At Crystals. God damn it. He's saying you know you're not rich enough to go in there, you know? Yeah, it's, it's not Crystals, it's Crystals. When you, when you say it's, yeah, like I... I'm, I didn't pass the test. You have more. You have more of your of your life beneath you at this point. You know? Sure, sure, sure. Well, these are called crystals. This looks like something Twitch would send Kai Sin at. True. You know, these are those shoes that look like girl shoes. There was not a lot of stylistic continuity there. There were like three but, different fonts. But you know what it was else? Like a kid's like word art project. You know, you know what else? It's no. like you have. There's a lot of girls' shoes. They're necessities. Oh, they're necessities. I didn't even know. Oh, I thought it was United Nations. No. Oh no. wait, this is like an—is this like an upscale shoe store? What the hell? No, it's uh, anything the bare, the bare necessities. That's hilarious. It be a Dude, this looks like a Gucci store, but it's for like Jordans. Why is this like kind of like a zesty gangster Mickey? Because like he's very kind of like like he's got like an Uzi and like a bandana, but he's very kind of like you know like yeah. very Charlie's Angels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I try to put, it's like Louis Vuitton. <laughs> they got like a shoe store. They don't, they don't, look, they don't, they don't think kind of our types around here. No. They don't, they don't, they, we, we don't, I just feel like, okay, so back when I was young and dumb, like when I was like 21, okay. I would, uh, I, I visited LA pretty frequently doing like work stuff. Doing and, crack. Um, yeah, work. Okay. Um, and I was uh, kind of an idiot and I would just like go to Rodeo Drive and walk into like heinously expensive. Rodeo is where all the shops crazy are. Crazy expensive stuff. Yeah. I would go and I would, I mean, no one was ever in there, so I would just like talk with the salespeople about it. Yeah. I went to this one place, it was like essentially a bedazzled Blackberry. They okay. sold these phones and they had like diamonds on them, but it was like a simple, like sleek black phone. Uh -huh. the dumbest thing I'd ever seen. Asked how much okay. they cost. Entry model 50 grand. What? A dumb phone, right? And I was like, okay, so it's like not exactly a smartphone. They were like, no, it isn't. And I was like, in. You know, it's not exactly like low profile or they're still pretty bulky. Yeah. It's like, why do people, why are they buying it? And there's like, well, there's a concierge service 24-7. I was like, for fucking what? For what? You know? And, and here's the thing, man. They sell, people want to wield like the, the symbol of status enough to where they are open on Rodeo fucking drive. That's the most expensive real estate. Dude, you know what else is crazy? Like, so I of, bought two. <laughs> I bought two of them. Like, this is a Balenciaga store. Look at the amount of, like, space. It's like it's like three feet in between. They they have these bags, right? Peach wore that to the to the streamer awards. Yeah, <laughs> she had her whole dress. It no, but they have, they have, like, a whole, like, look at all this space. Yeah. Like, it just put, like, a well, massive... It makes it, it makes it seem much more prestigious. Yeah, whenever, whenever it's, like, you have all this real estate for one product... Saint Laurent, like this whole this whole display is gonna be for some rubber boots. Yeah. Look, this whole display, dude. What? Whose feet are shaped like that? I don't know, man, but Nick knows them. Yeah. Whoever it is, Nick knows who it is. Nick, Nick, Nick can tell us. It's like an elf. Saint Laurent. I was modeling. It was very important to my agents that I wore clothes like that. Really? Women's clothing. <laughs> Women's clothing? What kind of model no, were you? Like I had to wear like really expensive clothing everywhere. They would like fund it. Be like, you have to wear this to your castings. Oh, so, oh I kind of get that. And they all suck. Yeah, I kind of get that. It's so expensive. Yeah. Ross Ooh. is a museum of illusions. The Ross Museum of Illusions. We have illusions, to go Michael. Is it open? Drinks or something a whore does for money. <laughs> or candy. <laughs> 
working. <laughs> it's fun. Hey, what's hey, up? So, so great to meet you. How's it going? Hey, I'm from Germany. Oh, I'm nice. I'm watching your stream so fucking often. Really? Yesterday I was in LA and was thinking of you like, what what would it be meeting S Hunt? Really? Now I'm here now. I'm now you're in Las Vegas. Wait, how'd you get from LA to Las Vegas? Like, what what are you doing? We drove our Ford Mustang. Oh, really? Nice. <laughs> yeah. oh, so you're in America. You got to go completely American. Get a yeah, Ford. Yeah, yeah. So we're there switching it to a 30 feet RV tomorrow. Oh, nice. To do all the yeah. national parks and stuff. Really? Wait. So how long have you guys been in America? One week. Yeah, please. Oh, nice. Are you guys are you guys here for TwitchCon and then just doing like a whole trip? No, no, just the tourist thing. Oh, cool. I wanted to visit Blizzard yesterday, but they were closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. Blizzard is like hard to kind of get to. So. Yeah, we, as we were in LA on a Sunday, they were just closed. Yeah, it makes sense. Hi, Twitch. Good to see you. Hi, Twitch. <laughs> well, cool. Well, okay. all right. Enjoy America. Okay. So That's crazy. Rain or rain All right. That's crazy. I'm not even live on my channel. Like, I don't think he's stream sniping. How weird is that? He's a fucking liar. <laughs> he's liar. he's not just, German. <laughs> I was just thinking about yesterday what it might be to meet us. No, he was. He was. He was. He did. No, I know <laughs> he did. I believe that. He's Most just, people like, believe driving. that. Driving. He's having sex with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. What would it be like to meet us? I think. I actually think a lot of people do that, and I'm not joking. That's all. Uh, the Museum of Illusions. The Ross. The Museum of Illusions. So what are these? The Hello. Is it open? So yeah, what is the Museum of Illusions? It's like uh, pictures, it's graph, like, it's illusion. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. It's closed. Oh, it's closed. Yeah, it's closed at 10. Oh. oh it says online, but they just updated it. Oh. Uh, Can you give us, like, a, what's your favorite part of the museum? Uh, Can you explain it? It's just like... I don't know, I feel like if you do shrooms or something, it's probably like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, type of thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. What about like if you drink a lot of Red Bull? Probably gonna be hyped up. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Alright. It's not gonna be like Well, what about Ross? Is Ross open? Like if yes. I want to get like dressed for less? Cool. Yeah, Let's yeah, check out the Ross. It's pretty true. Dress for less? I mean, yeah. Okay, let's go to the Ross. Ross is trippy? That is trippy. Okay. Sick. Ross is trippy because it's cool. <laughs> Sick. That's good, because I'm on shrooms. <laughs> Raider. Raider. Shoot, you need a, uh, an alert for that. Put some raids. Raider. This is the one place in Vegas that you can't fucking film here. I know, right? You need to put that fucking thing away. Why are we, why are we down here? I don't know. You wanted to go. Welcome to Ross Vegas. Ross uh, Vegas. Are we in a different Vegas now? Cool. No, yeah, it's Las Vegas. It's a new place. They have their own mayor. We gotta go kiss the ring, man. Yeah. Cool. Hello. Not much. You can dress for less here. Very cool, very cash. Yeah. Dude, I used to do all my shopping here. Like Ross, Ross, Ross and TJ Maxx. Go from Ross to Fuddruckers. <laughs> Ross, TJ Maxx, and Fuddruckers. My, my three here. favorite stores. Lupin. Um, Dude, you can get, I'm telling you, you can get good stuff. Wait, we're probably F down here. You think we're Probably. Think about it, like, think about how this building is, bu building is built. Yeah, we should probably go up. Yeah, let's leave. Cool. We got nothing to do in Ross. We're not gonna buy anything. We're just wasting their oxygen. But Ross is not bad. Dude, I'm telling you, Ross is like... You, you can get so many good deals at Ross. Like, ton... ton Tons and tons of good. Are you all? He's recording. He's recording. Who's? Well, those. He's recording at the same time. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'm self report. Yo. You Lakers fan? Yes, sir. Sick. Did you, go, did you guys. Uh, went to the game today. You went to the game? Oh, sick. Did you guys bring your Lakers jerseys to the game? Yes, sir. Because I was seeing that. There were like a lot of Lakers fans. There's a lot of Lakers fans at the Raiders game. Yeah, there's... Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a Packer fan. Oh, you're a Packer but fan. I like the Lakers. I love the Lakers more than I like the Packers, huh? Oh, so you might as well just wear the Lakers yeah. here. Yeah, the sport doesn't matter. Watch out for that. Bro, Packer fan for sure. You guys went to the Raider game? Yeah, we did. I was playing Madden with Marshawn Lynch before the game. <laughs> I was. That's bad. Yeah, I was. I tweeted it. You can check my Twitter. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys.
The security guard guy was like, can you edit the shrimp part out if you post that to <laughs> oh, He's just making a joke. Yeah, but he doesn't know. He's talking about shiitake, baby. Dude, I want yeah. to go to the Ross Museum of Illusions. Man. Yeah, we're going to the Museum of Illusions. Look at, I mean, look at that, man. I'm freaking out. It's crazy. sound like Seinfeld, doesn't it? It has a Seinfeld sound. Dude, Seinfeld was just one of those shows that like, I didn't really get it as a kid, but like, every time I watched it over the years randomly, I was like, dude, this show is so funny. It's like all like building a, uh, like a language for common occurrences we don't put language to. You know right. what I mean? He's like, no, what do you mean? It's just a pick. Yeah, it's just like... But it wasn't a pig, it was a scratch! It's on the outside, it was clear! It's literally like the stupidest show, but it's so funny. That yeah, wasn't a pig, it was a bug! George! So, so dumb. You guys wanna go free them up free them? No, we just went. I appreciate it. He just said strip What'd he club. say? Oh, he literally just said the I just word said, strip club. <laughs> he said you wanna go, I was like, no, we already went. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay then. He's got good taste. I didn't realize they were cool. Okay, this is the actual daiquiri spot in New Orleans. All Fat Tuesdays. You know what though? This is like, it's like a mall. This place is built like a mall, but it's for only one like, one quadrant of a, of a area. Yeah. It's very weird. Like, Hold I on. thought this was like a full go mall, but it's not. Wait, Chad. Should we go to Rainforest Cafe? This guy looks like Jimmy Kimmel. Did you see it? Yeah, he's a Kimmel impersonator. Yeah, he looked like a Jimmy Kimmel impersonator. Mostly just that he seemed drunk and bubbly. <laughs> or no, Fallon. I said Kimmel and then Fallon. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Fallon, Fallon, Fallon. Pizza, Pizza Italia. This is real Italian pizza. They imported. That steak's going ham. Should we go to Rainforest Cafe? Should we go to the uh, Rainforest Cafe? Or should we just peruse and go to Denny's? Let's go to Denny's again. Think Denny's? We could. You know the thing about Las Vegas? I feel like you walk around and you're like, where do I go? There's so many places to go. Every no, but like only everywhere is like to go to spend money. Well, they're all the same. I know. Like they're all like, like for for like it's cool to walk around and see everything and even like talk to random people. Like there's like GTA NPC conversations that you'll come across all the time here, right? But like as far as like there's places to eat, there's places to drink. Yeah. And like gamble. So many, almost everywhere. You can gamble. <laughs> like those, that's like kind of what it is. It's just. There's like a, there'll be like a fish 
fry out of a shack in a slot machine. Right, yeah. Literally. It doesn't matter. Literally. A, you can gamble. This is a little human. You can put odds on unbearable. anything. You can put odds on whether or not the person in front of you is going to gamble. True. Actually, true. These buildings are, I mean, you know what's crazy to me is that there's something really trippy about Vegas in that it is like entirely artificial. Like, oh yeah, this it, is a man-made city, like, unlike most. Solely to sell things, it's wild. There was never like a, well, we have to pop it. They were like, what is the most vast expanse of nothingness? Like useless fucking land. Yeah. And they're like, let's fill it with strippers. Yeah. We go to McDonald's. Taco Bell Cantina. We literally just do the same thing we did yesterday. Yeah, I mean, honestly, maybe we should go further down. Oh, you know where? You know where else is good? Like, we, don't like the we should like, go to Caesar's Palace. Oh shit! How far is that? Can we walk? Chat. How far is Caesar's Palace? Yeah, that was wild. Man. Google Google the Caesar's Palace. They're saying heart attack. No, I don't want one of those. We'll go there for TwitchCon. It's kind of funny. It's like a little teaser because TwitchCon, I want to do a lot of cool stuff. Okay, some people say literally right there. Someone says three hotels down. Someone says pretty close and someone else says far. So we have no idea uh, based on all that information where it is. 0.7 miles. Okay. It's funny. It doesn't look very far. I should have. This this was all like so thrown thrown together last second. Like we really weren't even planning on streaming uh, tonight. We got to go to Paris, Las Vegas. Yeah. We got to go the direction we came from. I should have messaged yeah. Veronica to come uh, show us. Wait, so go back. Yeah. We go back up. Let's go yeah. back up. If we want to go to Caesar's Palace. Kaiser's. What? Ka Ka like C A E. Kai Kaiser. That's what I used to think that uh, Caesar. That's how you I used to think Caesar was pronounced. It's all the uh, it's all the World War II games you played. Yeah, Kaiser's Palace. Nineteen tickety shoot. The Kaiser took you away. I don't remember. Man, dude, I'm telling you. What are you telling me? Simpsons Hit and Run is one of the best games I've ever played on stream. It's very good. Simpsons Hit and Run is one of the best stream games. I would like. I would Game put it up there. like their Grand Theft Auto, right? Yeah. What was the other one they did that was another car game? Uh, yeah. Road Rage, which is Crazy Taxi. Road Rage, yeah. It's freaking out, man. Oh, whoa! Yo. He's doing tricks! Whoa! Whoa! I'm getting residency here. <laughs> yeah. Still morning. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually part of like a whole like David Copperfield okay. uh, uh, this diorama. Looks, this looks like a place that if you bring your family... Oh, you man. Like, don't want your kid to see it. Yeah, Sugar Ed Sheeran? Factory, oh. Goblet Bar. I thought you were talking about the Ed Sheeran sign. <laughs> there was the Ed Sheeran. Hey, there's a massive Ed Sheeran. I thought it was Grayson for a second. Oh, God. I never even thought about that. <laughs> Is that a well-established connection already? I don't know. Do people know? And it's like a Hannah Montana know. thing? I don't want to. Yeah, Chad. I don't think he's only only live at night. Yeah, because during the day he's Ed Sheeran. At night he's a streamer. He's got to go be Ed Sheeran. Yeah. You think Ed Sheeran's playing night shows? <laughs> He's playing brunches. Yeah, he's playing brunches. Hey guys, I like nachos. All welcome to the party. Yeah, let's go nachos. Nachos. I'm going to be honest. When he said, you guys like nah, I was like, oh no. <laughs> nah. I mean, there is Rainforest Cafe. Oh, yeah, this place. Magnet, magnet climax. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like it's just climax. <laughs> yeah. L I. They, they, used, they, they put two magnets of opposite polarities. Or no, it's the same polarity. Magnet vibrator. Magnet climax. Okay. Magnet vibrator. magnet shot and remove the tag on your visor. Oh my gosh. Do you think they can do that? So they forgot to take this off. What if they confiscate it? What if they have an identical one and they're like, fuck you. Wait, I could just buy scissors and cut the tag. 
Hello. Hi, uh, so this is a weird request. Okay. But I went to the Raiders game earlier today. Uh -huh. And I bought this visor and I bought this shirt. Uh-huh. And then I bought this off. Okay. So, do you guys have any magnet that can get rid of this? There's no magnet strong enough? No. So, do I, do I probably just have to cut it? I know it's totally random. But... You're gonna have that forever. Yeah, but they're they're gonna be closed. Yeah. I mean, it's just a tag. How to wash it? Yeah, yeah. Really uh, that's not a big deal. All right, thank you. I'll tell you what, dude, that donut looks really good. Yeah, it does. We should eat it. How many subs for me to eat that magnet? <laughs> I, I'll do it. Dude, if you eat a magnet, I think you'll die. What? Right? I think if you eat a magnet, you can die. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. No, I'll have an orgasm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of which, look at these ice creams. Called, um, these are called uh, gigolos. Gigolo. You get tiramisu gigolo. Is that what it's called? Gigolo? Yeah. That's my screen? Kind of. Hello. How much is your guys' gigolo? How much, how much is your smallest? Seven dollars? Um... I don't know if I want pumpkin pie. That's delicious. What's your favorite flavor? Pumpkin pie. <laughs> pumpkin pie? Oh, Did really? Yes. Can you try it? Can I, can I try it? Pumpkin pie is great. I don't know if I like it. It's limited time? Yeah, yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. I don't know. I don't think it's for me. No? Why not? I don't know. I just don't like it. I mean, uh, can I try the, uh, can I try the pineapple? No. Only the pumpkin pie for I can only try this one. I can't try the other one. Can I try a little bit of everything so it's like one, I get a free one? <laughs> it doesn't work that way? Thanks. What else? Lemon? Do you, hey, do you have any other new flavors I can try for free? No? How about, uh, how about, can I get, what's, what's, oh, wait, what's this? Oh, this is Nutella? Oh, that sounds good. Do you want okay. coffee? No. Wait, what about Rocky Road? Have you ever had that? Yeah, but Rocky Road is like a, like a marshmallow. I'm not, I'm not about it. Really? That's yeah. Crazy. Get the one you can't pronounce. Stra Wait, how do you is it stracciatella? How do I say that? Oh, really? Do you think? Do you think if I told people I was Italian, they'd believe me? No. Wait. Why not? Why not? I said stracciatella. It's vanilla. Uh, it's vanilla with chocolate chip. Uh, but okay. it's very good. It's very popular. Wait, which really? one's your favorite? Then? My favorite is mango. Which the one? Coconut and mango. Mango. Yeah. Coconut's probably really good, but I love coconut flavor. Let's, um, I will get, uh, man, I don't really like Nutella, but that one looks so good. Is it, should I, should I judge it based on how it looks or how it tastes? It's because it's, it's uh, with a little bit of coffee, but if you want a Nutella flavor, the best you what is it's like, it's like a flavor of Nutella, it just tastes a little Would you believe that I'm Italian because I knew how to pronounce that? No. I'm way too white, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm from Costa Rica. Oh, really? Yeah. No, so, are you lying you or I a, believe you? <laughs> I'm just asking okay. you as a person if you believe I'm Italian. Yeah? Yeah. No. Um, okay. I will get one uh, stracciatella. Okay, you want a cup or cone? Uh, a small cup. Wait, actually, no, small cone. Cone. Cone, I can cone easier. I had a, uh, a coach who would call cones, he would go, Kane. Oh, yeah. 
Canadian. <laughs> it's like something like like it's almost like a Canadian accent, but it's like no. Yeah, it made no sense. Yeah. He only did it for that. It was like a very Valley Girl accent. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, a, like a like a Canadian Valley Girl. Like, like it's just his own thing. Look at that. Great, thank you. Here, uh, hold okay. this. Okay, let, no, me, no, let no. me get it. Let me no, get I it. Gotta... Let me let me ask for it. Let me get it. No. I, uh, Can I, I um, like... do you guys do Apple Pay here? Oh, that's too bad. to you. Oh, yeah. They were like, no. I've never been told no to a sample, but I imagine they have to, because I guarantee they have people come in and just rob them on samples. Yeah, they probably do, actually. Just drunk dick bags. Oh, shit. My mom's dead. I will say, there are some really fun views when you walk out. Yeah. Strictly from like an architecture perspective. What's in the Milan? Oh, wait, Caesar's Palace. We see it. Yeah, but I thought it was one. No, but we had to go to Caesar's Palace. Yeah, <laughs> It's very difficult walking with it not attached to me. Yeah, is that weird? Yeah. Um, oh, I think we're going to go this way. Or can we... Where the fuck do I... Maybe we just have to go through that. All right, let's just go through the this hotel. What's at the Bellagio? That sounds very prestigious. Can we get Bellaged? Bellaged. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna get totally Bellaged. Dude, I got so much Bellagio last night, man. <laughs> I got so much. We're getting Bellaged. Bellagio is your mom's favorite activity, dog. Dude, I sound like Otto from, from uh, Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, boy. Yo, what about a Scarpetta? <laughs> Sounds like an Italian guy saying carpet rock. Dude! Raiders! They have Laker jerseys! He doesn't have Venmo! Raiders! It's because I got that on my neck, dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, we go down here. I also want to go through the Cosmopolitan. Now we're already down the stairs. Cosmopolitan? Yeah. Wow, well, that magazine. It's very good. I don't know what it's about, but I think it's... No, uh, it's, it's where they give, like, the, like, five sex tricks your man needs from you now. And it's, like, it punches cock hard. <laughs> 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 Cover yourself in peanut butter. It's one of the it's one of the tips exists. <laughs> one of their big tips be, is uh, be, a, be an existing woman. In the middle of intercourse, bark. <laughs> Without warning, start barking. Bark and say <laughs> bark and say sub to I show speed. <laughs> Put on your 
man's favorite streamer. <laughs> Think about meeting us fan the next day. <laughs> Just wonder what it might be like. Ask him to close his eyes and... I Think deeply you, about what it might be like. <laughs> I wish that fan could see me now. <laughs> He'd be so proud of this. <laughs> this is a crusader strike right now. <laughs> see the command. <laughs> if you could see my aura right now. <laughs> they really just I'm have. <laughs> Oh, holy damage! <laughs> oh yeah, we're in execute phase. <laughs> execute! Execute! Oh, pardon me, man. <laughs> Pop your flask! <laughs> Make sure your man pops his flask during sex. <laughs> GFPB! <laughs> Oh, no loot? This is bullshit. This is encounter sucks. This is like an actual just fake Eiffel Tower. And they have, it's called the Eiffel Tower restaurant. It's like, dude, it's like, uh, it's like, um, it's like a Disney World for alcoholics. Yeah. That's what it is. Oh, really? It's so fun. Yo, S fan, should we? Can you put a price on a memory? Yeah. 25 max. 25 bucks. Do we want to go to Bellagio or Caesar's Palace? Let's go to Caesar's. Okay. Where is Caesar's? Right there. Oh my gosh, it's so far. Caesar's. Yo, look at that geyser. Whoa. Yeah, let's go to Caesar's. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. And I said, what about... No, I just got back from one. Thank you. Strip club? Yeah. Yeah, it's just... I mean, look, man, for your dollar, you can't get better entertainment. We're still operating on, like, 1980s, you know, exchange. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go to all the Gordon restaurants here, man. Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy how many Gordon Ramsay restaurants are. Dude, why do so many entertainers have alcohol brands? Usher has one. Dude, life, life is a melody. Remy Martin, team up for excellence. I have no clue what he's selling. I just know that it's a brown liquor. What's the difference between brown liquor and white liquor? Um, it, do you want to get canceled? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say that. Um, the difference. It's like one's like ch chocolatey or I don't know. Mm. I actually have no clue. It might have something to do with like the barrel it's aged in. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe it's like. But I also think that it probably just has something to do with what's actually being fermented. You know what I mean? Yeah. I also say this is someone who has no fucking clue what he's talking about. I'm done with this. Throw it at anyone. <laughs> It's time for us to get that clip. It's the clip of a lifetime. Oh, dude, funny. I was gonna ask, I forgot. I was gonna ask Marshawn if you wanna hang out later. You wanna hang out later? Yeah, just like. Just I, was, like I wanted to do like the Nathan for you bit, but like at the end of the thing. You wanna like hang out? Yeah, you wanna like hang out sometime and just see what they say. Okay. I, just, I, just, I wanted to say no so bad, it would be so funny. He would've just been like, no. Like, no, no. He's got to play to Buffalo for the hot wings. I thought you were done with it. I don't have a trash can. It's actually, uh, it's performance art. Honoring what I did to your mother. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I like how they're selling the like ring light circle thing over there. And in the background is just some fucking dude working for like seven dollars an hour. Dude, I got hair in my I I got ice cream in my hair. You got ice cream in your hair? Yeah. It's for later. Approximate it pretty well. Yeah. Uh, speaking French. Yeah, they were or something. We missed it, S fan. I don't know if we ever even had a chance. Dude, Martha Stewart's there. Dude, she has real sensitive too. I. Can I order her direct to our door? What is Vanderpump? <laughs> Dude, Van, 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 I'm gonna Vanderpump Martha Stewart. <laughs> Dude, every corner has one of these things. Every corner has one of these. Fucking young one test fan. Facing this way, and they're like, yeah. Let's go. Raiders. Raiders. See, there's like a Caesar Palace thing all the way down there, but the Caesar Palace. I'm working on that. They like approximate oh, sunset. It. It's really weird. Yeah. Oh, just wait until you go inside. Oh. Uh, no in the end though, thank you. What does in the end though mean? I don't remember. Actually, wait, there's stuff in there, too. Yeah, we gotta go to Denny's. Dude, there's so many of these. All right, I say we do this. Let's go to Caesar's Palace, and then maybe we, like, get, like, an Uber to the Denny's. Yeah, good yeah. And we'll, like, tour them around real quick. Yeah. Because we have a flight in, like, five hours. Dude, in, like, two hours. We have a flight now. Oh my god, how many from this dome? Hold on, you got the right that takes to turn you on and girl. No, it's wild, this is an iPhone. You can't see it. Yeah, I know. Also this guy go. You're one! I was gonna let one person go. Not everybody. Uh, how do I get across to Caesar's Palace? So get in. Hey, chat. What's that? What's that crazy street called in Las Vegas? We're gonna go back there for TwitchCon. Wait, we're not on the crazy street. No, no. So this is the strip. There's like, oh, what's it called? Fremont. Yeah, when we when we come back, we'll go to Fremont Street. Fremont, what's there? So so the sky has replaced with a screen. Yay! The sky is replaced with a screen. It's actually sick. 
Fremont apparently used to be dangerous, man, but it's not dangerous. you know what they're doing there, man. They're fucking, they're warming us up for it. Let's go to the strip club because they're warming us up for it. Bro, we we're just went. The strip club right now. We just went. We're, now we're, we're back. You don't want to go again? No, we're busy. We have jobs. We ain't gonna strip. Look at that real shape. Yeah, that's good. Guys, real recognize real. The Raiders, though, you already know. Yeah, hey, thanks. Raiders. Raiders. It's really their thing. That's great. That's great. This is gonna get me laid, man. Well, you know what's funny is like the response of a, go to the, the these people stand on the street. Their job is to try and get you to go to the strip club. Let's go to the fucking strip club right but now. But then the here. response of no, I already went. It's like, like oh. yeah, they say oh okay. They they always say oh okay. And, but it's like that's such a weird thing to like the whole thing is weird. Like, look at me. Do you think I didn't go to the strip club? We didn't go, by the way. I lived there. We're not heathens. We went to the hotel and slept. We showered. How much religious garb do you think it would take for them to not ask me if I went to the strip club? <laughs> no, no. Like, do you think they know no bounds? Dude, we're about to a new rule in the house. Sundays we gotta go to church. Just the strip club. No, you know what? I take it back. You gotta go to some some kind of church. I don't care what kind. single building every single every building in Las Vegas is a hotel a casino and a mall they're all three if I can if I can take your money somehow I'm going to yeah and half of them are connected because the other half of them are owned by MGM Grant or MGM or whatever like we're in the Bellagio but there was just a sign that said like Arrow Caesars Palace You know, it's all Italy. <laughs> it's all, it's all Italy, really. This is the Italian. See, we got the uh, Venetian over there. Venetian. Got yeah, Hannah's. That's got to be a strip club. Probably. But it's very. This is flamingo. Oh, no, Hannah's. No, it's like a grocery store. Hannah's. Hannah's. Yeah, we should call it. Honestly, within the hour. Yeah. Realistically. We'll get him there and then we'll try to get to get to call it. Yeah. Oh man. My legs are feeling. Yeah, me too, actually. I'm starting to get hit. Dude, so, champ, my shoes went missing. To be fair. To be fair, I probably would. them out. Well, yeah, but, like, there was a bunch of stuff left out. I think they put them in the truck. I, put, I think they put them in the Madden Cruiser. Probably. But, like, my... Is that a pair of dunks? They gave me blisters after wearing them for two hours. So I decided to stay to hell with them. I probably was never going to wear them again, but... So I had to go to the, I, I literally went to the Nike store and I bought, I bought new shoes, just like normal, just shoes to walk around in. It's a lot of running shoes. We made, we made the pilgrimage, man. But 
do. We're at Hell's, we're at Hell's right. Kitchen, man. You're right. We made it. It is the Hell's Kitchen. The. We gotta do a Hell's Kitchen stream too. Yeah. The Green Fairy Garden. Green Fairy Garden. Where is Caesar's Palace? Oh my God. Oh, I already had one. Thank you. The sequel's better, bro. I had one. I had two. A tall topless midget? Is that what he said? Yeah. So is it just like a really tall midget, or is he making a joke that? I think he's making a joke. It's a normal person. Yeah. Like a normal size. Normal size. Yeah. Okay, now we're at Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace. Yeah. I'm like, getting to Caesar's Palace was exhausting. Yeah, I'm tired. This was making it to Mount Doom. Yeah, we made it to the, to the, what, the shores of Mordor. Yep. <laughs> right? Sure. And the, in the shores of okay. Tripoli. Two. Normandy. The Shormandies. Oh, chat. Thanks for watching today. The stream is now over. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. It is kind of insane, like, the scale of this. Even though it's all, like, you know. Yeah. But the scale of replica is, like, really impressive. Yeah, no, it's actually very impressive. You can make Cafe Americano in Why do all these statues and how come their boobies are showing? Why are their boobies showing? On the statue. We're trying to see if you want to go to the strip club. Oh, this is, this is the old strip clubs? Dude, it's crazy because it's like, look at the amount of like, how lavish everything is here. Where do you think they get all this money from? I wonder. Probably from subs. Oh, from subs. I think it's from all the subs. Yeah, it's from subs. They take about five cents a sub from what I know. It's like a retirement home for old entertainers. Yeah. I only smell uh, like old fish and cigarettes. Dude, it literally smells like fish and cigarettes. Why? It's so strong. Oh, is it like over there? Blackjack. Yeah, I'm not a gambling guy, but uh. I've never done it. Like card games is fine. I would do card. I've done. I've done blackjack. A few. A few Twitch cons ago, it was like me, Andy, XTC, Chance. Uh. Nick, Hope, Miz. Yeah, look at that. BJP. Where? Uh, he's not doing anything. What was he doing? It was like a little Buddha making his titties bounce. Oh. Oh, you can smoke inside. Yeah, that's weird. People are just ripping darts. It's crazy that they allow people to smoke inside. And like, and probably like they're like, I guess they don't just don't care. But like, like gets in like the walls and the furniture, and they, I guess they don't care. Is there a boat in there? Yes, there is. Look at the titties in your face. Everywhere. Oh my gosh. Cigar bar. That sounds like the worst place. Yeah, dude, that place is uh... There are there are two women in there in like 87 men. That is for the boys. Yeah. No boo. Wait, so this is a very different part of of. of this is a very different part of Caesar's Palace that we've been to. I think our part's right up here. Yeah. Oh, maybe. 
They have this whole area that's like a false sky. It's fucking insane. Mm. Yeah, it's it's actually like wild. You guys will see it on camera. I'm all through my body. Hey. I came to see his palace on my on my other camera. I came on stream on, with my other camera. Um, it legitimately looks better than real life. On on your camera, though. On the other camera, yeah. I mean, maybe on this one too. To be honest, like with the right settings, like a lot of things look better on camera than they do in real life. on the salad, eat the salad, the palace. See, she's got a whole a monopoly <laughs> on, on everything. Vegas. Oh yeah, here it is, the forum shops. So, yeah, it's over. Okay, so this place is like wild. Yeah, like actually wild. Oh, dude, back at Vanderpump. Vanderpump. So I was spinning you guys around, but the cable was getting twisted. Walk through the casino, cable got it twisted. You spin my head right around, right around. Yep, they did. Oh, here we go. It's closed here. No shot. We walked, here we walked all the way here for it to be closed. Alright, that's the fucking screen, dude. Fuck this. Dude, it closes at 10? Bro. And 9 on Sundays? Are you kidding me? I gotta make room for God. In Vegas. Dude. They need it. We'll be back at TwitchCon. Oh, we'll be back. Um, shit, dude. What the fuck do we do? I think we gotta get food. Where do we go to Dennis? Should we get an Uber? Actually, let's see what else there is. Dude, we literally just walked all the way through. We could go to Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill. Where? Let's see. Let's see if they got food. We ate here earlier. Uh, this food court are they closed now? You want hello, guys? Maybe we go to the Gordon Ramsay. And what do you want to do? You want to go to, go to uh, Gordon Ramsay's? I mean, are you down for that kind of time, or what do you think? I, I think we got about. Yeah. We can do that. What do you think? We probably got time. I mean, you know me, I'm a crackhead, so. Am I, uh, I'm pretty gassed. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what the menu is like, and if it's like a thousand dollars for something, we'll say fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just dance, just dance, bounce, 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 bounce. Dude, I bet if we play squash, we win. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I saw somebody do it on stream. No, no, like I, I, it's crazy. I went to kick. Hi, Hi. Woo, go Raiders! Woo. They people love being on camera. They love being on camera. Oh, Close? Why? Alright, All right, let's go to. Should we do Denny's or. Yeah, what do you guys want? Denny's again or Halal Guys food court? They say food court. They say food court? Let's go food court. It's 
Heart attack girl. This is both. No, we're not doing heart attack. Go to a buffet. Why not buffet? Dude, you know what was really, really good, honestly? Huh? The long guy's french fries were really good. And we threw the rest of them away. So we got chicken guy, halal guys, Bobby Bobby Flay's burgers. Who's Bobby Flay? Super Chef Bobby Flay, Southwestern style chef. Oh, indubitable. I learned all that on Wikipedia. Today. Nice. <laughs> look, at how, look at how crazy this is. You have Guy Fieri, picture, a chicken guy. This is Guy Fieri's chicken store, okay? But like, you have Guy Fieri right here, right? Where is he? You have Guy Fieri right here. But then also, it's with a picture of a chicken. And this other dude. Sick. <laughs> like, it's like a, like a picture with a chicken, but he's like, yeah, we're gonna kill this chicken and eat it. So, dude. This guy has a Henry Ruggs jersey on. You know who Henry Ruggs is? Who is he? I think he had a car accident and killed somebody. He was in jail. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Pac-Man Pac is grown up. Did Pac-Man kill a guy? I think Pac-Man just got in fights at strip clubs, right? I think he shot up a club or something. Oh, he did? I don't remember. I remember there being a gun incident when I was a kid. But he was a good, he was, he was like a good corner. It's like watching a Matthew Broderick movie. He was good though, he was good. At football. Do you know about Matthew Broderick's like murder? How many people did? What? Paris did Bueller. Did Yeah. Man like killed a, like uh, someone in Ireland in, a, in like a drunk driving incident. Did he deserve it? Oh, drunk driving. Like he was pretty young and like what's funny is I, I had a chatter whose name was just Matthew Broderick car accident. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? You made me laugh really hard. Alright, Chad, do we decide on this or should we go to whatchamacallit? Did we, did, I think, did we decide on halal? Yeah, we're just getting halal, aren't we? Yeah, we're chicken guy. I mean, here's the thing, I already had halal guys once today. So you don't want it again? I mean, I could. I, could. I, don't, I don't yearn for halal guys. Oh, really? I mean, like, I'm, I'm down to go anywhere. As long as I can order grilled chicken somewhere. Well, you can get chicken here. Yeah, I know, but you know. I mean, this is. I think this is effectively your main option right now. Do we not want to venture out of this food court? I'm worried about time without like a direct destination. We do have to get to a. We have to get to a, oh, a safe point. Um. Let's see. Let me ask them for something real quick. What are you thinking? Chicken, I, I kind of want chicken guy because I I've had whole guys, and I don't think I'm gonna have chicken guy anywhere else. I'm not going to a strip club. Strip clubs are for degenerates. And where do you want? Where do you want? Where do you want? Okay, he's gonna check out Bobby's Burgers. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so. Street 
corn? Is that isn't that elote? Chopped chicken Caesar, crispy meringue kale, Parmesan house with croutons, chicken tendies, chicken guy fries. I mean, I'm down for trying this. I've never tried this. Yeah, pretty much just chicken with chicken. What is that? Want Bobby Flay or Guy Fury? Um, I say you go with what you want here. I'm gonna look and check some things real quick. Is there anywhere nearby? Huh? See if you can find. It's like a cafe. Like it says it's called Cafe Americano over by the entrance. It's over 24 hours. We'll go there. There. Let me see what the menu is. <laughs> Chad, do you guys watch? Uh did you guys watch Bonnie playing Visage? Visage. Tim looking good, thanks, dude. Well, the game the Raiders won, actually. How was that? How's the stream today? What did you guys think of the stream today? Tailgate. Yeah, what did you think? Like, I was like the camera quality. We were actually using the live view. Uh, I tried the other backpack, it didn't work. Like, literally, wouldn't even read the HDMI. Which is crazy, because the amount of, I spent 10 hours this week setting it up. So I don't know, did I get like a bad unit? I might feel like just like the most unlucky person in the world. All right. Um, but the live view worked, so. All right, straight up, your preference. Do you want to go sit down somewhere? Do you just want to grab this and get done? I think we, I think we, it would be wise of us to eat here. Okay, so let's do that. I'll go figure out what I can do with Halal guys real quick. You get chicken guy, and we'll... I mean, I think because of the situation at hand, I think I should go Halal guys as well. Okay. Uh, someone's, uh, someone's buzzer. Fine, because well, because yeah, just do that. Well, this room was great audio even during loud areas. This is nice. Okay, cool. What's that chicken butter? Um, the largest one. So we're gonna take a platter and make sure the like triple meat. It's gonna be 20. So I also I also wanna get a can I get a, a beef platter, small, uh, with no tomatoes and uh, also french fries. Alright, you guys have fries? Chad, it's, it's wake stream, so he has to pay. That's the rules. So make sure to chat, make sure to twitch prime awake. Uh, if you didn't already use it on Asmund Gold, we should use it on wake. I don't think you can use it on Asmund. You can't. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Oh, and I, I forgot to say, could I get white sauce on mine?
So look at this. I so I have this, right? I, I put this on underneath so it doesn't like annoying. Yeah, and it looked like Quasimodo. Yeah. But look at this. I can also wait, I can also do this. When I want to take this off, I don't even have to take off my shirt. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You are such a dad. You're so stoked about the niche function of your new gizmo. Yeah, like. Look at how convenient this is. You can just do that if you wanted to. Yeah, I can just. Like, if you wanted to do that, you could. Just do that. Look at that. And now, now I can take it off. It's like infomercial Andy stuff. I'm tired of all those pesky wires and cables. Dude, dude I'm telling you. Bonnie. I don't know. Dude, I've been looking for, like, the right bag for ages. Bonnie killed it. She found it. The, the right, like, physical, like, bag to put the, the, the like, the unit inside of it. Put the unit in it. Mesh. The whole unit. Small. I, do you want to know what's funny? This is what happens anytime you order extra meat at a restaurant, you never get it. Oh, yeah. We need to ask for it after this trip. Yeah, but it's all back there, you know what I mean? You can do that at Chipotle. You can, you can, that's how you, you fact check them essentially. Where you're like, you showed your, you played your hand. Yeah. Now I want double meat. Yep. Okay. That way you don't get that one and a half scoop shit. Let's see the song, let's see the slides you're singing. Ooh. 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 I got a beat, you know. The place is trash with them, we're masculine. You know what though? If these were like softer, it'd be nice because it's underneath. I mean, this is clearly like a 50 cent bag. It's like, do I have like a rash or anything? You do. I do. Brick. So, so I gotta put something like softer on the inside. Oh, fuck, is that? Is that us? Oh, yeah, give me the white sauce. Oh. They still work at Wawa. They thought there's extra scoop for meat, not double meat. Okay, they did give me a lot of extra meat. Oh wow! I didn't, I didn't meet you out. Why did I take this off? Like, it's like a bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's been a good trip overall, I'd say. Yeah, it's all good. I kind of want to come to TwitchCon early. I think I'm going to go on Thursday. Like, I've been thinking about it. Sauce. It's a right? Semen. Better. 
can't believe I said no. Okay, so it's like a mixed meat is what you get here. Yeah, I think I... Spilled some. This is the embodiment of an unnecessarily expensive meal for me. You guys have rooms already? No, for what? The Twitch gone? It's hard to plan things. Like, as a streamer, it's hard to plan things, like, way in advance. Like, I have certain things, like, for example, this thing was planned well in advance today. Yeah, most things are chaos. Would, would please or no? I don't know where I'm going. Switch of fries. Such a goober. Alright. I slander chicken thigh a lot on stream. I don't know if it's just that I've been walking for so long. This is fucking intoxicating. It is so good. It is so fucking good. No, they forgot they to take it off. So I gotta cut it off now. Oh, fries. Well, guys, hot sauce? Is it very spicy? They were right. Dude, hold on, that is just absurdly filling. Oh, is this rice? Yeah. That was cheese. <laughs> <laughs> how much cheese? Think about how much cheese that would be. I, I think it's rice with saffron. Yeah, it is. Mistake what I did there. Really? That's oh, crazy. Not bad. Yeah, I kind of want to try. For context, I ate pretty much the whole tube in like a bite. Oh. I really lathered it on. I think I'm gonna take a drop. Oh, dude, this isn't like liquid. It's like a paste. Anytime it's like a paste, it's like gonna be bad. You know? It's not that bad. If I had been more measured with it, I'd be okay. But I wasn't. Yeah, like, I'm gonna do a little bit and mix it into all the food. Well, now it's like, why'd you even do it? Get a little flavor. Oh my gosh, even that little bit. Mix into all the food. Oh my gosh. I did not take that seriously. What are y'all telling me? Yo. Oh fuck. I put like a drop. And I mix it into everything. Like, 
I didn't think it was gonna be that. I thought it was gonna disperse. Dude, I feel it all opening up, dude. What do you mean? Oh. Our blood's rushing. I don't do Joe do Spicy, man. That was unexpectedly brutal. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Big Iranian. Dude, Persian people don't eat spicy food. That's Indian. There's an unrelated comment. Oh. He's like, I, I see through you. You're Italian. I'm also amazed you both faced ordered um, some uh, gigolo. Oh, yeah. It's good. It wasn't bad. I just couldn't be holding. You still. What? You're playing into the bit too, right? Just big a lot. She didn't know what I said. She's Costa Rican. You know what I've learned? If you say something and then say the wrong thing and then point at something else, people just assume you say that. Hot comment. Yeah. They're like, I have AIDS. <laughs> Super advanced. <laughs> Just, just bring the cup here and I'll 
I'll venture on. You know what, Trap? Aside from being without sleep and very tired like physically and mentally, this has been good. I like IRL a lot. I'm get a little bit more loose uh, in the future as well when there's more like planning and energy to it, but it was fun. Give me a shout out. I'm talking to you beautiful people. How are you guys doing? How do you guys like this? Has it been solid? The interviews were tough because it was so loud, and I had to try to keep an eye on S Fan. So I like didn't want to get too deep with anyone. It was weird. I think in a different context, I'd, have, I'd feel a little less on edge about it. S Fan, there are like three over here. There was a meeting with my hands. It's just a. It's a primal impulse. This man looks at me, calls my name, and then puts both of the cups over his titties. And does this. Some paladin he is, man. Oh man. Some food to you with your hands? I'm just I'm just crushing dude. I'm just fisting. Um but yeah man, it's been fun out here. It's kinda chaos. I'd like to cut a little more loose with the interviews, I think, and like really try to get people to chat. Yeah. God. Alright. Alright, get her it's disgusting. Does Wade just talk to you guys without having chat up? Yeah, I didn't even see him have his phone out. Yes? He, he talks at us. It was Jerry, dude. This is just so funny. So you've never played this before. that say security on <laughs> I know. I think it'd be hysterical if you, like, hired, like, a full escort production crew. Yeah. If you hired them as a escorts, cameraman. Sure, like, so I have you for the day. Yeah. And then it put them to work. Yeah, I'm somebody with a boot mic. <laughs> <laughs> Can you cover your cleavage up, please? <laughs> no, because he's distracting the viewers. He's supposed to be watching me. 
<laughs> Dude, eat, eat one of these fries. Dude, I'm so stuffed. Eat one. I may have one fry. Eat one. Isn't that nuts? These are like some of the best fries I've had in a long time. That's a great fry. Legitimately, dog. All of that was cheese. Yeah, dude. He looked at it and he ran. And he's like, "Wait, this is rice." I'm like, "Bro, what'd you think it was?" He's like, "It was cheese." It all looks like like shredded like refrigerator cheese, you know? The kind of cheese you eat standing up. This is our topic, but you know what made me feel so good today? Hanging out with Marjon Lynch made me feel so good. Cause like that whole environment yeah. of like just that that the banter and just like talking shit and, and dude, it made me feel like college again. Like it literally it felt like I was you know what I mean? Cause like I I I like that. That that's like I like that vibe. You know? Getting yelled at. It is funny, we just like just saying bullshit the whole time. You call the Roblox streamer. You get called a Roblox streamer. You know, the more he kept saying that, the more I was like, I think Marshawn Lynch has played a lot of Roblox. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was like, well, yeah, well, what, with your Roblox? And I'm like, I didn't know that those were a thing. Yeah. What, I bet you have a ton of Ender Pearls from your Minecraft game. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just like, it was just good. He called me the N-word a few times, that was nice. It made me go, like, accepted, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. Just send it back. <laughs> but I know that you were cool. <laughs> Why do you say no to the um escort? This yeah. group one. Oh. Tomato. Yeah, I'm right next to you. It's irritating. Oh, yeah. It's Did you get how strong Marshawn was? I shook hands and hug. But he had a nice... I don't know how he was wearing that all day, though. He was probably sweating the best. He said it wasn't that hot. I think it wasn't too, too bad. He's probably okay. He, didn't, he wasn't, like, in the sun for much. He was, like, in and out of the building. You know that thing in Die Gang? Dude, he went up at halftime and was freaking dancing on the stage. With the halftime show. With two short, man. They were doing Blow the Whistle and he was in it. Was it too short? I think so. I was gonna ask him how much you got paid. I'm just here so I don't get fined. I was gonna make that joke. But I forgot. I feel like Marshawn might have like a really weird sensitivity to that joke. That was his stance. Maybe. I mean, he made a meme of it later on. He did. That's enough food. Yeah, I'm stuck now. We got a flight to catch soon. We got a flight in 30 minutes, Chad. Why didn't you ask him what play he would call me out through your airline? Dude, I feel like that's sensitive. You know? The whole, like, the Seahawks decided to throw it and threw an interception. Russell Wilson threw an interception instead of getting the ball to Marshall Lynch. I feel like that's a, that's a sensitive situation. Like, even though it was, like, freaking eight years ago. Did he ever win a Super Bowl? Did they win the Super Bowl like the year after or prior? Am I crazy, Chad? Look this up. They won the Super Bowl, didn't they? 
Yeah, they won the year award. Put over that in his hand, so I'm like, yeah, actually, to be fair, dude, I feel like he would just talk like mad shit. If you asked him, he would probably be like, bro, they should have handed me the ball. He won a Super Bowl. Which one was it? 2013? Kobe Payton, the Broncos? Yeah, beat the Broncos. Didn't, didn't the Broncos win a Super Bowl with Peyton Manning? They did. Isn't that weird how they, like, cascaded Super Bowls? Like, back-to-back -back appearances where one team won and the other team lost? Oh, my God. Yeah, it was a blowout, too. They went up 36-0. Was the largest shutout lead in Super Bowl history. The Broncos were held to almost 30 points below their scoring average. I think. Oh yeah, and Peyton Manning won later though. Like, was it two years later? Yeah, I think so. I didn't think it was in Denver. I didn't think it was that long, but it... I thought it was only there for like two years. Oh, they beat the Panthers in 2016. Did we have one with the Colts? We won one with the Colts. Oh, wait, the Broncos won two years later. Yeah, two years later. 2015, 2016. Yeah, they did. So, so he was there for three years. Didn't he retire on that? He, I think he did. I feel like that's the tough thing. Like, when you're, like, a guy like Brady, you know, and you're fucking on borrowed time, essentially, and you still win a Super Bowl, the, 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 the impulse to be like, why couldn't they do it again? Dude, I'll tell you. I, 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 when, before Peyton started having, like, the major neck issues, I do think Peyton Manning was better than Brady. And I wonder if Peyton Manning had never gotten injured, how, how he would have, like, how his, the entirety of his career would have sta uh, stacked up to Brady. I do think Brady is going to go down as the best ever. But man, if Peyton had never gotten hurt, dude. What's nuts about Brady, I saw this stat today on Twitter. Tom Brady only ever threw four interceptions at home in Gillette Stadium. Say it again. Tom Brady only ever threw in his entire career four interceptions at home when he was a Patriot. Really? Four. That's impossible. And the, the guy who's playing presently has already broken that, apparently. Like, he took him like a season. Yeah, <laughs> do him a game. <laughs> he probably took him one game. Oh, four pick sixes. Oh, that's kind of a lot. Yeah. But he played for so long, it's not that bad. Yeah, I mean, I was one of those guys that hated Tom Brady for a long time, and then uh, he got—he was so good for so long. You eventually respect him. Yeah, right? yeah, you get to the point where you're like, okay. This guy's I think the real thing is that eventually someone's so good, you just want to witness greatness. Like right. that's how it got with Brady. Where I'm like, if I could see him win another, like with LeBron right now, it's like you're just witnessing like something that'll never happen again. Like, there's just no way anyone's ever that good for that long ever again. You said it earlier. You he's said the it. oldest in the NBA. That's and still he's, probably a top ten player. Yeah, you said it earlier. He's probably a top ten player in the NBA, and he's the oldest guy in the league. Also, oh, like 21 years in the NBA as like maybe one of the most famous people in the world. Never once had a cheating scandal with his wife. Uh. LeBron? Never. No scandals yeah. in the news. Nothing. Dude, you know what? For somebody who has been in the he spotlight... He just drinks wine at home. And he, just, and he just tweets random bullshit. I can't believe this is my life. Yeah. You know? Dude, LeBron, if you think about it, for somebody who has been in the limelight for that many years, I mean, because LeBron's what, like 42 or something now? How old? 38. LeBron's like 55. 
And he's 38, for real. LeBron James is the same age as Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, you're older. That's wild. LeBron James! And he's been in the league, what? 20, 20 years? 21 years now. It'll be his 21st season. 21 years in the league. Dude, when LeBron retires, that'll be something. Yeah, dude, he's 38. But this guy, and he was in the limelight like five years before that. LeBron dude. has been in the limelight since like middle school. Oh, dude. And like, think about it this way. To be I that good. games were on ESPN, dude. Yeah. To be that good for that long. I mean, didn't he not even play college? This was before they made the rule. Right to the league. He was, he, so LeBron James was so good. That uh, I think he was the last player to go straight from high school to the NBA, right? Was he? I don't know. Because I think the following didn't wasn't it the following year they made it to where you had to play one year of college at least. I'm not sure. Maybe he was the first. He was the last like high profile player. And also, is it very common for people to go right to the league? Like, even back then, most people still went to college. Yeah, because it was like there's a ton of risk in that. Dude, with NIL, I'm so curious as how that's going to pan out in basketball. Like, you've seen the effects in football, but, like, NIL... No, no one cares about high school or college basketball players. But, dude, Marsh Madness is so wild. But it's such a limited thing. Like, but, it, like, but it's all based on the schools. Like, people don't really talk about players. But even still, like, the events of, like, college football are so much bigger. You yeah. I mean? Like, the spectacle is insane. I think we should probably wind down and get back. Ron Paul was changing teams too often, having them go around him, adding those stars to the Marcus Network. Isn't that the way every team has won a championship in like the last 10 years? Is what? Stacking up like talent? The NBA? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a cancer, right? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like that is what works. Yeah, no, well, it's like you collect, you get one good draft pick, you collect assets, and then you exchange all of those assets for, like, three-star players and try to, like, you you have them for, like, two, three years, and if you don't win a championship, you rebuild for the yeah, next you're, 10. Yeah, your window's over. Like, um, Philadelphia probably blew theirs. They are the people who kind of invented this process. It's called the process. Yeah, I mean, I don't know basketball that well, but that, that's, like, my interpretation of it is, like, a lot of the teams that make runs are teams that, like, they got, like, a big three. Well, the big thing is that you have to be a free agent destination or have undeniable capital when it comes to, like, draft assets and trade assets. So, like, if you're not Miami, a New York team, or an L.A. team, it is very difficult to get anyone to want to go to your city and just, like, foil. It killed small markets, you know, the whole, like player agency big three stuff I actually think it's kind of killing the game in a way the only team that's a real like tried and true you have two tried and true championship squads Denver and Golden State they really built their team same with Dallas when they won I'm not even trying to entertain right now I'm literally just talking about basketball like autistically no, I just sorry. I, no, I'm listening. I'm just like uh, I'm still like reeling from that freaking heat. Yeah. Spice. Really. It was a lot. Wait, actually, Ryan Gosling is in the chat. It's him. You know what's funny? I would believe if that was actually what I was. Yeah. You know he watches Twitch. And Ryan Gosling seems like the type of guy who would make his Swiss account actual Ryan Gosling. And just, and just, and just assume everyone thinks it's a joke? Yes. Ryan, is that you? 
What do you think Ryan would want? This? Huge Wink Wilder guy. He likes talking about whether or not seem, like, zinc makes you come more. It's like his favorite topic. Wait, really? It's like, what does zinc do? Does it make what you come more? What does zinc do? Makes you come more. Yeah, but what else? And does it really? Why, why do people know that? <laughs> um, a very marginal amount. What if Ryan Gosling should have fucking Boomer? Oh, 100%. It's like a tier 3 Amaranth song. Oh, 100%. Oh, I respect him so much for that. Not even as a joke. That's real as fuck. Dude. Like, you're jerking, you're jerking off, like, the rest of the blue-collar Turkish men. <laughs> He's like, if they can't find porn, I don't find porn. I jerk dude, off to Amaranth in dude, solidarity. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep it real, man. Look, no hate, no shame. But there's, there's, there's a lot of places you can go on the internet to see a whole lot more for a whole lot less. So I don't, I don't get the appeal. I'm just, just keeping it real. In some countries, you can't. And that's the where the well, that's, audience. That's, that's, that's where it pops off. I guess. Literally. And Ryan Gosling, he's a humanitarian, all right? <laughs> if Turkish men and, and women can't jerk off the Pornhub on their PlayStation computers... Look, do you remember that? Dude, that was so funny. He, I was like, I was going to make that joke when he was talking about, like, it's a computer. You can browse the internet. You can Dude, just, you know and then funny? I was going to be like, you can watch porn. You know what's funny? And I was like, I shouldn't say that in front of Marshawn Lynch. And then he's like, you can watch Pornhub on that. I was like, yo. Dude, it's so funny because, like, we're like, okay, you know, the CDA, you know, make sure that you're like, and safe or whatever. And then Marshawn Lynch shows up and it, Marshawn Lynch acts like Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> But you know what, dude? You know what? That's so good for EA and Madden because that's what people want to see. Yeah. People want to see people just like bullshit and just say whatever the hell. And and EA and the NFL and all, like they can't have that as part of their channels. But if you are doing like a a, a, a stream with uh, somebody else, you know, that's on us. That's on them. Yeah. You know, we're helping, you know, support it or whatever. But you know, it's their content. So you have like a degree in separation, and then that allows people to see it through like, it's, it's so much better. They're saying that the ESRP, or whatever the rating organization is, is like very fastidious about that. Yeah, super, super crazy. I, mean, like, I get it. They check I, all I, their I, uploads. I understand. Which like, what fucking Actually, that's narcs, crazy. What fucking narcs yeah. that you're coming through anything they ever put out to be like, that's a curse word. This is for teenagers. I mean, I, I, the I, children I don't it. know it. I do get it, though, to a degree. Because there's probably some degree of, like, compliance. Like, I, and, the, you know, because they have a whole rating system with, like, legality. And, you know, I actually get it, but... Dude, when I... Yes. When I'm like, what are you doing in your free time? He's like, smoking bud. <laughs> like, you know what, Marshawn? I bet you do. <laughs> I thought it was funny how quickly every Raiders fan ever accepted that there was two gorilla gorilla rillas. Yeah. They were never like, what's this other one doing? Yeah. Like, Fuck yeah. I sent it. I walked around together. I was wondering in my head, I was like, what if the guy starts getting jealous? Because people are like, this one. Yeah. They start recognizing you as the alpha gorilla. You know what I mean? <laughs> I really wanted when that other guy, you know, when that Dude, third that, gorilla really came in. Oh, yeah. I wanted to have like be like a, Ugh. yeah, yeah, like have a territorial like, yeah, like who's the alpha? Yeah, bro. Why is Guy Fieri at his chicken restaurant have a cutout of him holding a live chicken? Like he's saving Yo, I saw them. that earlier while you were gone. I, I was like, this is hilarious. Like he's Maya Higa. Oh, he's gonna, yeah, like. 
But you're gonna kill that chicken. Yeah, dude, this guy's taking a picture like it's like it's like an animal rescue shelter. But in reality, dude, it, it looks like a rescue shelter, but like it's like no dude, he literally is about to cook this thing. He's gonna chop its head off and cook it. These chickens are ass to ass and they're nice but Yeah, like literally. They're all just a pen somewhere. Rural Missouri without, without the ability to move. <laughs> yeah, like this is so the most bad. inhumane thing ever. Mostly because it's not scary. What do you mean, man? The chickens are in flavor town. I'm so tired when you get out of here. I'll go super. Yeah. Oh, wait, I already did? What? Did I just subconsciously get one? Why are Ubers here in two minutes? Oh, nice. Well, let's, let's end. Who's gonna clean this up? I got it. <laughs> Alright, All right, chat, we'll see Stream, like stuff wasn't turning. We brought three backpacks. I was happy everything worked. Fantastic. Oh man. Fun stream, guys. Thanks for hanging. We got all this. I think I'm a Raiders fan now. I'm, 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 I, I just need to be wooed by one fan base, and they kind of did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I have no allegiances as an Austinite. I just need one fan base to like be like. They gave me more access than any now, cause you know. Yeah, I gotta do this the Cowboys game. If it, look, if a cowboy, if the Cowboys woo me, I'll hey, do it. That's. About, we're about that. was no, go ahead. Right. I was just gonna say, uh, a, a certain player for the Denver Broncos, his manager saw my Instagram story and said, hey, we need you to come to Denver. Oh, I could be a Broncos fan. I like their branding. Huh? I think the best branding in the NFL is Miami, man. I love the Dolphins. Dude, actually, Miami looks is so like, good. I, I, Miami, there's something about Miami that has, like, it's just got, like, it's just swag. It's just dope. It's just swag. Like, the Raiders are, are swag, too, though, to be honest. Raiders? Pretty swag. Like, I do like I like their merch more than I like their like jerseys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like their yeah, merch. Their looks jerseys cool. are not that good. It's fine. It's but like their merch like, is sick. No. All right. So is Miami's though. Super controversial opinion. I kind of love the Browns branding. You know what? Their newest uniforms look pretty good. Actually, like I like the like retro '70s color scheme. The like yeah. brown and orange. I like it. Dude, you know, you know. I also like that it makes no fucking sense. Well, you know who I didn't like originally, who? but I very much like them now. The Miss Bucks. Him. The the Bucks. I didn't like like the the pewter. I thought yeah. pewter was ugly. Was you want to know what's really sad about that joke? He what? was the only creator that like. I was like, I was going through a pe list of people. I I know that I know I know well enough, and they know me well enough yeah. to where I could say that, and it's not. It was him. It was, it was like a. Anyone else? They'd be like. Upset. You might have meant that. Yeah. No, I still don't like this game. <laughs> Dude, the, uh... But yeah, oh, here. Four. Where are they? Uh... What are we looking for? Uh, it's been... Oh, wow, a limo? They had a limo. Let's do it. Oh. Look at that guy, they're not a dog. 
Oh, okay, it's not us? Okay. Where are you guys going anyway? Hang on, hang on. Hold on. Yeah, man. <sighs> he just beckoned us in. That was not our car at all. That's it? He was just... He was just so willing to be your guy. Yeah, and he was just like cranking the rap music. Oh, he's like, no, 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 hold on, hold on, where are you going? Come fucking, don't, don't go. I felt like I was in Thailand. He's like, I'll turn the meter off. Yeah. It'll be a good deal. Never let them turn the meter off. It is never a better deal. Yeah. Unless you're okay with getting scammed. Because on some point, and I do believe this, this was my friend and I's philosophy. It's kind of their hustle. You know what I mean? It's like... They had to make money. It's our guy, by the way. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yup. Well, team, I hope you enjoyed this little, these two impromptu, yeah, no plan, true. walk around and just make dumb jokes. Dude, sometimes these streams are just, let's walk around and just see what happens. This and I also think the problem with Vegas is everywhere they want you to go is a strip club. True. And you can't you can't do that with these. But it was good, man. It was good. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was um, really good. S Fan, do you want to shout out your channel? Hey chat, make sure to follow my stream. It's twitch.net slash wake wilder. Twitch dot LinkedIn slash Grayson. Twitch.tv slash JCG. Um, Finty TV. Fin Finty TV. <laughs> Switch out to use our Triax. Long day, real long. How many day. people do you think um, go to twitch.tv slash tryhard to find Triax? Dude, I bet, I bet some people do. Like all the time, they're like, what the fuck? Dude, I personally. It's just think, Miss Salt. I think it's so funny whenever people like. Like, tr like not people who like thinking Trihex's name is Tryhard, not that. But when people are like having a conversation and they actually accidentally say try hard instead of try X, like, I and they get really embarrassed about it. I think is very funny. I don't try X think it's funny, but I, I but personally, I think it's funny because it's always followed with like them being really embarrassed. Oh God, what did I do? Oh, I fucking said it. It happened like, it happened a few times in the past, like on like podcasts and stuff, and it was just, oh, I always thought it was so funny because I was like. Because they're like in the conversation and they act when I say try hard. I was definitely on stream and I said try hard. See, try hex. Really? I just, I'm just calling him by his name now. I'm calling him Michael. That's I'm going to give him, I'm, I'm going to give him his Cause, cause people get so used name. to saying, people get so used to saying try hard that when they say try, they accidentally say hard. And they all think his last name's Seven. <laughs> <laughs> what if that's his signature? Just him drawing try hard seven. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta show you this thing Nick said me. Yeah. Stream can never know. This was in, um... <laughs> this was in a fellow streamer's chat. And it was just, it just detected him with no explanation, because I was in there. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> he just tried to at me with try hard. Dude, I don't get when people ban try hard. Well, I do. I do. I I do because I, when it's used for what some people use it for. They don't. That's not a thing. Like that was a thing in like twenty like fifteen. It's not, yeah, like, I dude, don't think it's as prevalent anymore. I have never banned try hard. I've never banned Kamambra. I've never like. No, and they've never been used in a weird way. Yeah. Probably because you don't have uh, weird chat. Yeah. I mean, 
You can have a weird chat, and they can act weird. You know what I mean? Put weird shit there. Do a little dance, make a little love. They could get back. Valentine, you know, sex. Yeah. I can't believe it. And then they'll jam out to an Aerosmith song about having sex with a 15 year old. Wait, is that. Is, what, what, which song is that? Most of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's sweet emotion. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's about um, his girlfriend's high school graduation. <laughs> I don't want to miss it. Oh, Jesus Christ. He was uh, 42 when he wrote that. So bad. And one of the things it's about his daughter Liv. It's about his daughter Liv's friend, Melissa. <laughs> yeah. Boys in the attic, relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, we're going to end the stream on that. All right, now. guys. Uh, follow the stream, guys. Um, uh, give your primes to me. Give me your money. Um, if well, you don't really give me your money, money they, they already... get a Taz fan. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, uh, big love to each and every one of you. Thank you for showing up to the stream. Thank you for hanging out with us in these impromptu late nights. <laughs> we're going to go to bed. Together. Um, it's going to be sweet and soft, and Steven Tyler's going to write a song about it. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, it's guys. It looks like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we just we just decide who puts their hair down that night. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, how do we end this? Um, okay. How much you want to bet I can still run? <laughs> All right. Thank you for the ride. Thank you. Bye. Um, All right. I don't know if you guys are still here. I'm, I'm done entertaining you. <laughs> I don't know what more you want from me, chat, but I'm, I'm over it. Okay. Chat. Mm -hmm.